Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. I thought we'd have a quick talk about graphite and this came from a customer or more than one customer actually and I thought we'd talk about it. Now graphite, it doesn't fix your lock. No matter what you do, it just doesn't fix your lock. I'm going to go through a couple of scenarios here, just a couple of lock problems and then I'll show you how it doesn't fix it. Here we have a deadbolt cylinder, internal deadbolt cylinder. The key turns fine but the bolt was only working occasionally and sometimes you've got to push it or flick it to get the lock to work and I said to the customer you're going to have to replace it and their comment to that was oh can't you just put some graphite into it well to start with I can put as much graphite as I want and if the lock is on the door I can pump it through this section here but the chances of the graphite actually getting to the back where the problem is is unlikely not only that you cannot fix a mechanical problem with powder it's just not going to work it's not going to make some magic shape and recreate this back tail piece so here let me show you it still looks the same so no i can't fix that that's a replacement so obviously when it's a replacement it's going to cost you a little bit more than being able to just adjust it lubricate it or anything along those lines so if it is mechanically broken graphite is not going to fix it Here's another example where the key turns in the lock. Sometimes you put the key in, it doesn't turn, like now. Right. Or it'll only turn one way. Or you've got to jiggle it to get it to work. Now you can pump graphite in there. And I've got 18 grams of graphite, so I'm not afraid to use it. It's known in the trade as black gold for many reasons. You put your key in, backwards, forwards pump a bit more in there. I mean you've got a big container, it even comes with like a pushy thing on the back here so you can really pump it in there and look at that I've just filled it completely up with graphite. Now I'm going to push my key in there a few times and my key does feel better. Now the reason it feels better is because that graphite has gone to where the actual problem is inside the cylinder and has actually built up a little bit more on top of the pins to allow you to turn them backwards and forwards but slowly by slowly as the graphite wears away it falls to the top of the chamber it's going to go back to the exact same position reason being is because the pins are worn the actual pins pins like this inside the lock they're worn they don't marry up with the key anymore meaning that eventually your lock's just going to be the same so fixing that one with graphite is a very very temporary solution it might work okay this latch here <coughs> it works sometimes and sometimes it gets jammed so let's just pump that foot oh look at that it even goes on an angle you see that see that nice angle so let's just pump that full of graphite and see what happens there graphite all the way around because this is what the assumption is of a lot of people who buy this graphite it's only five six dollars from the hardware store and it seems to end up everywhere see still getting stuck latch is still jamming sometimes not even pulling back so let's just pump a bit more graphite down this side here and let's see if I pull this if anything better happens no it doesn't the latch is still physically broken the front section is not connected to the slide the springs still working and it, any amount of graphite is not going to fix that what you need to do is replace this latch with one that isn't bent out of shape and one that doesn't have paint all over it and one that's connected and then you'll get better results so graphite is not going to fix that too the amount of times I've taken a lock off a door and, and there's, when I take it off there's nothing but a I don't know if this is 18 grams we'll probably say 10 grams of graphite behind it and the whole idea of graphite is to um, you know get the well the reason they're putting it on the door is to get the actual lock working now this lock actually does turn left and right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it I've got a spring I've got a spring on this side spring on this side so when I rotate it this way it goes back rotate it this way it goes back now if I do this and I break one of these legs off there we go it doesn't have its spring no more so I can put graphite all over this let's get a big amount of graphite there we go look at that still not going to fix it 
Graphite does not fix locks. It just doesn't. Locks are mechanical devices and no amount, no amount of graphite that you put on that lock is actually going to fix it. it. All it does, and this is one thing I want you to take away from this, is graphite is a lubricant. Okay, it is a lubricant. It's not a magic bullet. It's not a magic uh, locksmith in a can. It's nothing like that. It's just a lubricant. So if you want to puff a, puff a bit in there, graphite is a desirable uh, lubricant for key cylinders, especially pin tumblers. Then you can. That's not a big deal. Putting some in the actual lock cylinder, not a big deal. Getting your key working backwards and forwards, lubricating those pins, that's fine. Putting a whole uh, can of it on the back end of a lock not going to do you much good putting a whole can of it in a broken latch not going to do you any good putting it in your cylinder because it only turned one way might get you out of trouble temporarily but as you see here this one still playing up and we pumped a lot of it in there it was full also depending on your lubricants if you've got multiple lubricants and i'll show you what i mean this is graphite this is a dry lubricant this is Easy Glide, this is a wet lubricant. If you mix these two together, they kind of don't really do anything great. What I mean by that is you're just going to end up with a sludgy type uh, mess of lubricant. You see those big chunks forming there? That's what you're going to end up with. You either go one or you go the other. Grease is just not acceptable, don't do it. People in kitchens and things, I'm really tired of you guys putting cooking oil in your locks. It's obnoxious when you go to remove the lock and it wouldn't really do much good anyway. So if you've got broken locks, don't start pumping them full of graphite. Don't put cooking oil in there. Don't put funny um, lubricants in there because they just don't work. Graphite is for lubricating pins, pin tumbler locks like this, a couple of squirts and that's all you need. And that will just lubricate the pins. It won't repair them, won't bring them back, back up to height, but it will lubricate them. It'll also put a lot of black um, dust on your key, and it'll also put it a lot around the lock as well. When the lock is removed, if you put too much graphite in, most likely you're going to see a big chunk of it come out and go all over your carpet. So, let's keep graphite for lubricating and not lock repairing. Thanks for watching.